Welcome to the Tech Boys. I'm going to do a quick review of this new Kingston Orange Key Locker Plus 50 hardware encrypted USB 256 USB 3.2. You've got multi password, complex passphrase, personal security plus USB cloud, which is what you get. So we'll get it out of the pack and have a look. It looks like a pretty solid USB. I do like USB keys, um, particularly nice ones. We have plenty here. So you can see here, we've got the Kingston branding up front there, nicely on it. You've got UKCA, you can attach it to your keys if you want. You've got Iron Key, Locker Plus 50 here, and that's pretty much it. You pop off the top there and that's what you're going to get there. This looks like a little light down here, which we'll check out now when we pop it into the laptop and have a look. So let's check that out. So before we go, I'm just going to give you a quick look at our site here. You can see the website here, you can order off it. And it's hardware encrypted, data security, automatic cloud backup. And you've got XTS AES 256 bit encrypted, which is pretty much the standard today. And that's it, you've got different characters now. You've complex passphrases and so on. And you've 616, three and four sets, new passphrase modes allowed from numeric pin. You can also add someone else onto it as well, which we won't be doing. And that's pretty much it there. You've got your key features. You've got the XTS AES, as mentioned earlier on. Multi-password and admin user. Again, we won't be using the admin. We're going to be showing you how that works in a minute. And that's pretty much it there. New passphrase mode. Automatic cloud. Additional security features as well with failed logins. And that's pretty much it there. So let's check it out. So I'm just going to pop it into the laptop now. And we should see a light come on. And there we go, the process has started. And once popped up, you can see in here, you're going to get to run the Iron Key software. And you go through this like so. So you got next. And we'll just accept for this. We we'll just make any changes later on. And you can create your password here and go from there, which we'll do now. So what you do is you put your password in. So we'll just put in, say, Tech Buzz Ireland there. Battery saver is on. Right, and you can see here, this is going to change here as you put in the characters. So you're going to need to put in all these characters here. So once you get that, you have your password put in. You'll have there a hint or a reminder there. So I just put in dog's name to keep it simple. And you'll press next and then you'll pop in your information in here so for the purpose of the video we're just going to show you this here just put in this information you'll press ok and you can see the wheel is spinning And that's pretty much what we've got here. So you've got the USB cloud next. You'll press accept. And you'll see, please wait, install an USB to cloud. So in here, you've got options what to pick. So you've got Dropbox, Box, Amazon, Sharefoy, OneDrive, Google Drive, you go up here. You've got Mega and whatever that guy is there. I've never seen it before. So I'm going to say Google Drive. And start back up to Google Drive. You then ask to choose your account, so I'm just going to pick one of my accounts. And you can see here what's going on there. You can show you that. It's not personal in there. And you can just go OK there and continue. So that's pretty much it. You then see on the bottom USB C to cloud is started. So next up then is what you're going to do is pop in your password and you'll be able to access your key and what will happen is the key light itself will flash blue. So I'm going to pop in my password there now. And as you can see, you can see it there. And I'm going to log in. And you can see I've got access then to my key there. So we want to transfer files. You just go on your... File there, right click and you can go to send to and down there you can see you've got the piece here and that's pretty much it and same with another film there for example and 
you go to send to again and you see down on the bottom there it will transfer across there like so that's basically it and how it's going to work it's pretty simple no one can have access to it unless you have a password admin self or something else but just for yourself and your own personal use it's a great piece of kit to have there and it's simple to use nothing to it thanks for watching